A few months back, I visited Chinchilla, a vibrant country town in the heart of Queensland's Western Downs, to celebrate all things watermelon at their famous Melon Festival. Well, it turns out that watermelons weren't the only stars in town. <laughs> Evelyn Sharma is Bollywood royalty, with seven years of acting credits to her name. All right, let me cut to the chase. How did you two meet? We met on a blind date in what? India, in Mumbai. A common friend set mm -hmm. us up. A yes. setup. Yes. Proxenia, as we say yeah. in Greek. It's uh, an arranged. Arra set yes. <laughs> so, so, what was the feeling like going into it, and and you know, was it love at first sight? It was. Ooh. It was. I never thought that that was possible. Eight months later, mm. we were engaged. Um, he was already here. He had, um, you know, plans to set up this dental practice. And Evelyn was lured from the bright lights of Bollywood to Chinchilla. Buying and renovating a worker's cottage in town, Evelyn's eyes soon turning to the garden. Tushan already, of course, is um, very connected to the community, um, being the dentist in town. And so he introduced me to some of the ladies here and they were very keen on, you know, including me in the garden club. And I was very keen to be included anywhere. <laughs> What was the biggest challenge that you faced settling in? The sun, the harsh sun, uh, the dry weather, the silence after all the honking. I'm like, <laughs> where are the people? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I loved it. So what was it like here when you first rolled in? Just imagine a big sand pit with every type of prickle that you've ever come across. Yeah. I would say it was a museum of bindis. You had all types. Just when we moved into the house, uh, we got pregnant. The garden became a garden for our daughter. Yeah. Establishing the turf meant preparing the soil. So Evelyn enlisted the help of her three compost bays, as well as a layer of biochar. Once the turf was laid, she seeded the top with castings from her worm farm. This beautiful little bugger. Along with a garden, Evelyn absolutely adores her worms. We've transformed clay into beautiful soil that just grows anything. The worms have done their job and we've just, you know, fed them. Evelyn has a bed of native plants that's irrigated solely with grey water from the washing machine. And she's added a collection of tropical field plants like this Strelitzia, bird of paradise. So they like it really hot um, and they like it sunny, but then from the afternoon, uh, almost noon, the big jacaranda just throws the shade so they don't burn. Can I you grow it? Yes, you can. <laughs> now, this area has a different feel. I feel like we're going into somewhere. Yes, this is the secret garden. So this is a garden that has a little bit of odd-looking plants, a little bit um, out of place for chinchilla, I'd say. But down here in the shade and connected to the roots of the big tree that's all the way anchored in the water, I feel that they're really thriving. Yeah, I mean, you've got the rubber tree, the sansevieria, yeah. the mother-in-law's tongue, the philodendron, the begonias. Yeah. But under here, I mean, the canopy, the change of temperature, the light yeah. here, yeah. that's what creates that's, the secret straight away. That's right. Mm. Have you got a favourite part of the garden? Of course, it's my herbs. Um, we've got the Indian curry leaves over oh, yeah. here. Oh, I love uh, it. Beautiful yeah. nutty flavour in all your curries. Um, for the Thai dishes, we use the kefir lime. I see you've got plenty of oregano here, a favourite of Greek cooking. Yes, and a great ground cover, trying yeah. to drown out all the nut grass. Oh, I see a bit of nut grass there. How are you going with that? Drives me nuts. <laughs> 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 what else have we got over here? No Indian house is um, complete unless you have a holy basil plant. It's doing really well. It looks it comfortable. It is. Look at the native bees here. Yeah, the little black one. Yeah. But let me show you my favourite plant. Ooh, Come let's. Here. The lemon myrtle. Oh. Isn't she beautiful? In my top three of all time. 
I love it. It's doing well here. It is. It really loves um, this climate and let it go now to seed. And I hope I can uh, try my hand on propagating, you know, some natives. You gotta have a go. I just mix them in and see what happens. <laughs> Evelyn describes a garden as a community garden for a very important reason. Because so many friends here, and especially the Garden Club, has given me so many, so much love, so many cuttings, so much advice. What's it like seeing Ava in the space that you've grown? It's just gorgeous to see her, how quick she walked. She walked mm. at one year, straight up, uh, tumbling through the garden and just, um, you know, finding her little way through life. Should we get this flower for Mama? It's That's beautiful. beautiful. One of the things we do every morning is go pick a flower for Mama. I feel flowers just add that happiness factor, that wellness factor. Hi, Mama. I got you a little flower. Wow. Yeah. So what's it been like to grow a garden alongside the growing of your family? Very special. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, seeing, it's just, uh, you see the essence of life when you see something come from a seed and grow. Same with the baby, same with the, the plants. And just seeing what she's been able to do, it's been, if I, if I didn't know any better, I would say this is a, a born passion. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>